Hello everyone. My name's Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. I've had issues making videos lately because I have been super swamped. But I got something awesome. A very large shipment of something that I wanted to share with you. Something that none of us want to live without. That's a big box. And what is in that big box is... Toilet paper! Who gives a crap? So, and my question is, who really gives a crap? Anyway, as I have talked about a lot in my videos, I am trying to live a more sustainable life. I'm also a prepper, so I'm trying to balance this whole being a prepper and having the emergency supplies that I need and also not buying a bunch of stuff I don't need and also when I do buy stuff trying to choose stuff that is more sustainable better for the planet doesn't contribute to the plastic in the landfill so my next thing that I wanted to try of course was a more sustainable brand of toilet paper because the toilet paper that we currently use Angel Soft is one of the brands that got an F rating for sustainability because Quilted Northern, Angel Soft, I think Charmin was the other one. The the three main big brands, they all use fresh trees from forests in Canada to make their toilet paper and it is gorgeous, soft cushy for your tushy toilet paper and everybody loves soft cushy for your tushy toilet paper but if the job can be done in a more sustainable way in a way that doesn't cause too much of an impact on the environment then I am all for that so let's talk about who gives a crap it comes wrapped in, each individual roll is wrapped in this uh, paper. It comes in a cardboard box. No plastic whatsoever. This toilet paper is the recycled toilet paper. I think there was an option for bamboo also on the website. And I chose the recycled for one thing, it's cheaper. And for another thing, it was made from, I believe they said, paper from schools, recycled paper from schools, which is great. Also, the thing that I like about Who Gives a Crap is that they are a charity as well. 50% of their profits goes to building toilets in countries with horrible sanitation. So they are helping to improve sanitation in third world countries which is great. I am all for a business slash company. Sorry, my hair is just like weird today. I am all for anyone who is donating part of their money to help others who are in need. So I think that is a great thing. Now let's talk about the toilet paper. So when you open up this toilet paper roll, you'll find this roll of toilet paper. Now it looks a little bit rough. Let me get it up close. It's not terrible though. One side is softer than the other. Why can't I unroll this? Apparently you've got to be smarter than a roll of toilet paper. That's not where it's supposed to unroll. Maybe. I don't know. That's a bad sign if I can't even find the end of the toilet paper for a video. Let's just tear that. Okay. So, when you look at the other side, the other side is bumpy and is kind of rough. So, one side softer than the other. It is not as soft as Angel Soft or Quilted Northern. I will say that much. But it isn't terrible. It isn't like sandpaper rough like you know like the toilet paper that they use in the restrooms at Walmart where it's this smooth, rough, I don't know. 
it's like wiping your bum with sandpaper. It's not like that. This stuff is softer than that. It's, it's kind of in between. It's soft enough, but also not super soft. And the other problem that I've found, and it's not a problem, but but there is one problem I found is that this toilet paper tears really easy. Like you can put your finger through it. Like it just, it's not as durable or as strong, but you double it up and it works. So that is how I feel about who gives a crap. I think that as far as a more sustainable option goes, I think it's great. I think it's great to have a more sustainable option. This is not, we're not a household that would ever go to, what do they call it, family cloth? Because like my husband would never go for that. Gotta have toilet paper. And he likes his Angel Soft. Um, we're also not a family that will probably ever get a bidet. We have discussed it and it's just not gonna be an option. I don't want a bidet while I still have kids living at home for one thing. Kids are weird. Kids would want to play with the sprayer on the toilet. Even though my kids are teenagers, it would still happen. And I can see a disaster because literally everything comes up to be a disaster when you have kids at home. So we don't want to even attempt it. I brought it up to my husband and he said using water isn't more sustainable. I think that it's probably less water than what is used to make the toilet paper though, possibly. So I'm not sure on that one. I'll have to look up how much water it takes to make toilet paper and how much water a bidet uses in order to get the actual real statistics on that to show him. But he has stated that no, we will not do a bidet and we will not do something like family cloth. So I'm gonna try out some different sustainable toilet paper brands and I'll probably do a review on them after we've tried them. Like with this one, cause there are some other brands. There's one called Tushy, there's one called number two, there's one called I think Cheeky Monkey. There's a number of sustainable toilet paper brands and I'm going to try any and all of them that do not come packaged in plastic. Because I think it is a joke when you walk into Walmart and you look on the shelf for sustainable toilet paper and there's a package of sustainable toilet paper. It says right on it, sustainable toilet paper, but it's packaged in plastic like all of the rest of the toilet paper. So, and the great thing about, this is the one thing I wanted to mention. If you're a prepper and trying to live a sustainable life like we are, this is a great option because of the fact that you buy it by the box. This box has 48 rolls in it. So you buy bulk, which I like. Now it was expensive. It was $48 for a 48 roll box. That's a dollar a roll. And there was taxes. So I think it came out to $52. But this box of toilet paper is going to last us for a while. And I think that as far as stockpiling or or having extra toilet paper on hand, I think that having a box of an extra box of toilet paper is not a bad idea. So this is a brand that I like from a prepper standpoint as well as a sustainability one. But I will review all of the sustainable toilet papers before I make my decision on which one I like the absolute bestest. This one I do like it. So. I may end up choosing this one, but we'll find out when I try all the others. So thank you for watching my video and I hope it helps you. And if you want to try out this toilet paper, I say go for it. Now disclaimer, this is, I'm not paid to advertise for them. I should probably throw that out there. I'm just someone who is trying different sustainable products and then is going to do some reviews on them just to uh, help other people like me who are trying to 
learn about living a more sustainable life and weed through all of the stuff that is and isn't sustainable. So thank you for tuning in. I will catch you guys on my next video, which hopefully will be my next pet video because I am trying to do a few videos on sustainable pet care and I haven't forgot about that. I just have to, I wanted to do the, the dog grooming slash bathing video next and I just haven't had a time, I haven't had time to give Marley a bath because as part of the video, I wanted to do a clip of him like in the bathtub or something and I haven't had time to bathe either one of the dogs. So that one will hopefully happen, I want to say this weekend maybe. So stay tuned for that and I will talk to you guys soon.